If the momentum of a car increases by 8.6 kilogram meters per second squared in 16 seconds, what is the average force accelerating the car? Okay, so let's do our stock taking. We have that the momentum increases by. That means that's how much it is changing with. So it is delta P. The change in momentum is equal to 8.6. Okay, and in 16 seconds, that means the change in time is equal to 16 seconds. Okay, and the next part is asking us to calculate the net force that's causing this change in momentum. What is the net force? Well, let's see which formulas can we use for the net force. Okay, here we see we can use this formula where the net force is mass times acceleration. We don't have mass or acceleration. Okay, so our alternative is there for this formula. Okay, and here you can see the net force times the time is equal to the change in momentum. And we have time and we have momentum the only thing we don't have is the net force in this part of the formula so that means that I can use that the net force times change in time is equal to the change in momentum so the net force multiplied by 16 will give me 8,6 and all I need to do now is to divide both sides with the 16 by both sides with the 16 and then I get my answer that the net force is equal to 8 divided by 16 sorry 8.6 divided by 16 gives me 0 0.5375 0 0.54 let's go for 0 0.54 newtons round to two decimal places and let's go into that answer we've already seen that this is the formula that um, we are going to use in that formula we need we want the net force okay we have time 16 seconds and we have the change in momentum so when we substitute that uh, we're going to ignore subscripts as always so force times 16 is equal to 8.6 Preview looks good. Okay, so when we subs when we solved it, we found that the force is 0 0.54 newtons. Preview that looks good. Now, just one more thing that I myself very often forget, and um, and if I do, forgive me. But what we do have to remember is that force is a vector okay it is applied in a direction time can't be applied in a direction okay mass can't be applied in a direction so they're not vectors but since force is a vector we need to include its direction and since we don't really know what the direction is we simply say it's in the direction of motion in the direction of motion since it is positive if it was negative we would have said in the opposite direction of motion if we didn't know um, what direction, whether it's up or down or whatever. Okay, so please remember that. Um, see if you can surpass me in this and remember that uh, better than I do. Cool.